Welcome back. Let's dive into implementing lazy loading for images in our swiper.js slider. Lazy loading is a technique that delays the loading of images until they are needed, which can significantly improve the performance of your slider, especially on slower connections or when dealing with large high resolution images. Swiper.js provides built-in support for lazy loading, leveraging the native browser lazy loading features introduced in HTML5. Let's see how we can set it up. First, make sure you have a basic HTML structure for your slider in place with the necessary slide elements and image tags. So let me remove all of these simple slides. And here we will add image within this slide and then we will duplicate that. So let me get some URLs for the images that we will use in our website. Uh, let me duplicate this but before that we need to add another div for the placeholder so when image is being loaded you will have a div where you can show some kind of animation or whatever you prefer so this placeholder will be displayed instead of that image and the class name has to be swiper dash lazy dash preloader okay save it now we can duplicate this slide to have for multiple times and let me replace the image path to have different images let me slow down the speed actually let's remove the autoplay for now and let me reduce the width as well also we have to add the attribute on every image loading is equal to lazy after this in the styles we i am just going to remove this code for now now instead of that i will add swiper dash slide space image and I will add width and height 100% with object fit to cover. Okay with that our images are looking perfectly fine in these sliders. Notice the loading lazy attribute on the image tags. This tells the browser to lazily load the images as they become visible in viewport. Also we have added the div with the class swiper lazy placeholder inside each slide. This element will serve as placeholder while the image is being loaded, providing a visual cue to the user. Next, make sure we have initialized the swipe.js. I have removed all of the extra stuff from this configuration and now we need to add some other configuration or options. First one is lazy, true. Then we will add lazy preloader class that is swiper-lazy-preloader then we will add lazy preload preload previous next one you can find all of these options from their documentation as well let me show you so these are the options about the lazy so the lazy preload pre next and lazy preloader class so this is the default value for it so in this configuration we have enabled the lazy option which activates the lazy loading functionality so here is what each of the lazy loading option does. The lazy when set to true swiper.js will also preload the previous and next slides images in addition to the current slides image. This helps provide a smoother transition between slides. Lazy preload previous next. This option specifies the number of previous and next slides to preload. In our example, we set it to one, meaning swiper.js will preload the current slides image as well as the images of the previous and next slides. Then we have the lazy preload class. So this is the class to target the placeholder element. So you can change it as well to use a different class if you want to. Additionally, you can customize the appearance of the placeholder by modifying the CSS styles for swiper lazy placeholder class for example you can change the color or size of the preloader remember to test your slider with lazy loading enabled to ensure that the images are loading correctly and the overall performance of your slider is improved so let's quickly test this behavior that we just implemented open the inspect element go to the network and click on the image tab and reload it now you can see that only two images were loaded the first the current one and the next one but other images are not loaded yet but as soon as i go to the next image it will load 
the third image so let's see you can see it has lazily loaded the third image for us similarly if you go to the next one then it will load the another one and it will keep doing so in the next lecture we will explore how to create thumbnail navigation for your swiper.js allowing users to easily navigate between slides if you have any questions or want to share your experiences with implementing lazy loading in swiper.js feel free to leave a comment below and let's make our sliders more efficient and provide a great user experience